Welcome to Design Engineering Review. I would like to introduce you to my website of Mechanical Engineering Design Fundamentals. I am Dr. Carl Sarosky, Professor Emeritus of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at North Carolina State University. Need help remembering a concept from basic mechanics or a mechanical design course? How about a better understanding of the engineering design process with case study examples? Want to learn more about mechanical engineering design, like power transmission, vibration isolation, torsion of non-circular sections, fatigue, and other relevant topics? Then you need to take a look at designengineeringreview.com. The Design Engineering Review website consists of three sets of video presentations that include engineering mechanics fundamentals, the design engineering problem solving process with case study applications, and a series of lectures on topics related to mechanical device design. The presentations consist of PowerPoint slides with audio that play on QuickTime. The engineering mechanics section contains 53 videos covering statics, dynamics, and strength of materials. Presentations include a classic problem, background theory, a detailed solution, and a brief summary. These problems were created to help students prepare for the fundamentals of engineering exam. Statics covers equilibrium of particles and rigid bodies, cables and weights, truss analysis, shear and bending moments, the role of friction, centers of gravity, and moments of inertia. Dynamics includes projectile motion, rolling kinetics, simple and compound gear trains, curvilinear motion, and the principles of work energy and impulse momentum. Strength of materials covers basic stress and strain, shaft torsion, thin walled vessels, two dimensional stress states, bending and shear stresses, beam deflections, and column buckling. Design engineering is the practice of applying creativity and innovation, operational analysis and decision making to solving real engineering problems. The design process presentation covers the intellectual activities of synthesis and analysis, their role in the step-by-step -step solution process, and the demonstration of their application. The case studies are solutions to a variety of real design engineering related problems emphasizing problem definition, solution synthesis, modeling, computation, checking, evaluation, and communication. This section presents in-depth lectures on a variety of topics relevant to the design of mechanical devices. They are from courses in Design for Assembly, Design for Strength and Endurance, and Mechanical Design Engineering taught at North Carolina State University. The topics cover power transmission, vibration isolation, shock and impact, slender members, beam deflections, non-circular shafts, unsymmetrical beams, and designed for static strength, fatigue, and ease of assembly. With the digital computing and engineering software available today, there's virtually no design analysis problem that is too complex to be solved. But do we always know what fundamentals underlie the computational model and what the generated results really mean in terms of our understanding of the problem? Are we missing some insight and potential to create better solutions by accepting what computer modeling and non-generalized numerical results provide? Do we always need the extensive power and breadth of these computing capabilities? The Design Engineering Review website emphasizes solution synthesis and analysis from fundamental principles that provide generalized results with an understanding of the breadth of the solution within the context of the problem. I invite and encourage you to visit the site and experience this approach. Hopefully, you will find it not only interesting, but also worthwhile. Just try it and let me know what you think. Go to designengineeringreview.com and sample some presentations.